everybody, my name is William Lanowski, and uh, this is the first episode of a new series. So this series, we got a little Frozen 2 bag, this series is called, uh, Zach Watches Movies. Basically, Back did it again. Shut up. <laughs> Basically, Zach, who's off camera right now, is not a big movie person, so I thought it would be funny to have him watch movies. Yeah. I, being a critic, will ask him some questions, and he has to answer all of them, he cannot say I don't know. If he has to, he'll make up something. Basically, this is a review slash interview uh, show where I will give my personal opinion while also asking for someone who doesn't really watch movies that much. Basically, the movies he does watch are all movies he likes, but now he's got to watch movies They're all cartoons. I like. Not all of these are cartoons, actually. Only... All well, the movies I watch are cartoons. Two of these movies are animated, and one of th only one of them is for actual kids. The other one is for teenagers. Well, I hope I pick that one then. No, because I'm going to give you a hint on this one. The one that I picked is for teenagers. Both you and Charisma called boring. Uh, what's the, uh, what's I'm not going to... Okay, come here. Kid? And look at the camera. You know, stick your arm in, but without looking. Okay. And first episode is... Super bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We started watching this. Michael Sarah and that guy. Jonah Hill. I know. <laughs> Read the back, please. Yes. You can get on the floor. All right. All right. Scoot over. <clears throat> From the guys who brought you Knocked Up and the 40-year-old Also a funny version. movie. Yeah, I have that one, too. version is a good movie. Yeah. You've seen that? No. I just know it's good, because... My dad always talks about it. It is a funny movie. Because super bad. Seth, Jonah Hill, and Evan, Michael Sarah, want nothing more than to hook up with the girls they like before heading off to college. I will say right now that you may see the, both these characters as unlikable douchebags, and I want to say right now that you are absolutely correct. So. Uh, uh... So. Based on what you just read, what are you giving this out of a 1 out of 10? 4. 4 out of 10. We're going to see if he is correct, because we're going to watch Super Bad. We'll be right back. Commercial break. Yeah. Doo -doo. From the guys who brought you the 40-year-old virgin, Talladega Nights, and Knocked Up. Now, get ready for Super Bad. Gangsters, what's up, guys? I was just walking down the hall, and Nicola was wearing these tight white pants with this black G-string. Uh, it's 10.33. What? I told her what time it was. Chica, chica, yeah! After a lifetime of missed opportunities. Evan! Hey! Hey, Becca. They've got one final chance. You know when you hear girls saying like, Oh, I was so gone last night, I shouldn't have slept with that guy. We could be that mistake. To get it right. Oh, oh no, it's the car. You sick sister. Oh, stop. He's a freak. He's a fast killer. Super bad. Hey, don't touch that, I'm okay? not a piece of meat. So, that was super bad. And now we have the viewer of the movie, Jaden. I'll censor it. Sure. Uh, super bad. Jack. Super bad. You don't get to talk. Yes, I do. So, it was super we're going to go through our notes. <laughs> we're going to go through our notes, and then Jaden will give his a final opinion, and then give his final rating. It deserves its name. Okay. So Jane laughed a total of 5, 10, 15, 18 times. Not bad. Then I got some notes here. So he liked the phone scene in the beginning. <sighs> this scene is a scene where they're having conversation about uh, porn websites. And then like the uh, Michael Sarah's character, I'm just going to call them by their actor names, Michael Sarah and Jonah Hill. Uh, Michael Sarah. Uh, is still using the phone when he gets out to Jonah Hill's car. Broski, could you not? <laughs> Next, he loves the opening song that plays in the main menu and opening credits. He loves the 
uh, dick drawing picture scene. Of course, my notes just say he loves dick pic scenes, so. <laughs> Next, he loves most of the lines because he keeps repeating them. Just okay. Not everybody the, uh, does that, though. Physically harmed by four-inch dick insult. This is when Jonah Hill realizes that Michael Sarah brought uh, vaginal lube to uh, the party. And he kind of like flips out on him because he didn't consult him first. And then he's like, uh, he mimics him like, I think he says, Oh, Evan, I'm so glad that you brought... I'd never be able to handle your four-inch dick without that bottle of lube or something like that. Like, I felt that pain. Yeah, he was, like, grabbing his heart, like, next to his physically harmed by the, in the same way of the four-inch dick one, he was physically harmed by the last use. This insult was used many times, but by the last insult of, by the last uses, usage of the insult faggle, which was used a many times by the Jonah Hill character to the Fogel character, a.k.a. McLovin. 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 Changing his name from Fogel to Faggle. Oh, my God. Next, and this is the last note, she says, he says, Drunk Becca sounds like Spinell from Steven Universe the movie. I put three question marks around this because I did not get it. Next, we have some interviewee questions. Jane, you're going to have to, like... I'll censor it. You're going to have to be on your knees. Oh, my knees! Wait, you calling me short? Okay. Super bad questions. Favorite joke? Go. You can't answer it, and I don't know. You have to answer these questions, even if it's on the spot. Um, my favorite joke? Mm-hmm. Faggle. <laughs> I don't get it either. Favorite character? Uh, I know all of them are extremely unlikable and completely stupid. I know. Uh, Seth, because he brought the booze. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite scene? <laughs> um, when Michael Sarah gets stuck singing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's you, you ever asked to sing for anyone. Least favorite character? Fogel. <laughs> that's you though. I like the insult, but What's I don't the like... Mo like, if, like, years from now, what scene... If you never see this movie in any years, what scene do you think you'd, mem you'd remember out of... If someone's like, hey, do you remember Superbad? What scene do you think would come to your mind? In other words, what was the most memorable part of the film? Um, them saying I love you to each other. Why was this memorable? Very gay. <laughs> all, the, all the LGBT members are going to come at you. Okay, Tumble and what do you think? Coming at me. What do you think the moral is of the movie? Like seriously, like a hundred percent serious. What do you think the moral is? Get paid, get laid. Actually, no. The moral is that um, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this to a young little baby child. A young little baby child. <laughs> but the but. M moral is like that you don't need to like hide behind a substance. Yeah, to what get you someone said. to like you. Yeah, what you said. In other words, in like modern teenage words, you don't need to get drunk to get laid. Yeah. Get paid, get laid. You just need to be a decent human being. Get paid, get laid. That is like the biggest moral. I like mine better. Anyway, so now, give your rating. Three out of ten. Thank you, everybody. And if you like Zach's work, you or Zach's style of living, you can go watch Thackimations, link in the description below. Watch my gaming channel. Bye.